Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Warframe. Today is going to be my Nova build. This is my Nova Prime, I think she looks pretty cool. Whoops, don't reload, go into the arsenal. Um, <laughs> as always, first things first, we'll go over her abilities. Um, firstly, her passive, when she's knocked over, she emits a 6 meter defensive burst that topples attacking enemies and deals 250 damage. Essentially, you get knocked down, they get knocked down. Pretty simple. Um, her first ability is Null Star. She creates little antimatter particles that are around her that will orbit her and then they'll shoot out and seek enemies. Um, each particle activate, uh, sorry, each particle actives gives plus 5% damage reduction to Nova's health, stacking to up to 90%. Um, you can see up here we have 13. So, uh, having this range down is actually kind of good because then they're not going to shoot off, so you give yourself damage reduction. That's nice. Um, antimatter drop. You launch a contained particle of antimatter that will detonate upon collision with increased deadliness when targeted by weapons. So if you throw this thing out and then shoot it a bunch, it'll explode with a bunch of damage. Pretty self-explanatory, really. Uh, wormhole, she creates a wormhole, it's just a teleport. You shoot it and then in a straight line, whatever your distance is, in this case, 50 meters-ish, um, you go through it and you'll teleport 50 meters ahead. Pretty simple. Again, pretty self-explanatory. And then Molecular Prime, you prime all the enemies in a radius with Volatile Antimatter. Um, that has a radius. The radius is a bit weird with this, because um, it's based off your duration, not your range. Because however long it, the actual uh, expansion is, as you see here, it's 13 seconds on mine. It essentially will just keep expanding. So you increase your range by increasing your duration, which is kind of anti... It's not a... It's not exactly what you would expect, but in any case, it gives you a 75% slowdown on enemies. Um, the It'll do an explosion at the end, which does 1200 damage, but that's irrelevant. The explosion is only 9 meters, no one really cares. Um, but the actual effect, so the slowdown, will last a whole minute, which is actually quite good. Um, now if we go over our builds, I have three different builds for Nova. This is my general build that I take on most everything. Um, you can see here it's a lot of duration up 150% strength, and then efficiency at 130 and range at 97. Um, it's it's arguable that you could actually do this and get that range down a bit lower just to keep the uh, range on Null Star slightly lower, but I like having the range up a bit uh, for Wormhole, because I, I like to use this to travel around places and I like having like 50 meters to shoot through in the Wormhole, uh, you know, like Plains of Eidolon and uh, out in, what's the other one called? The Orb Valus. Um, so I want some range just for Wormhole, but granted, this is arguably a better build. And for this scenario, it is straight up a better build, so I'll do this one instead. Um, but as you can see here, Corrosive Projection, get rid of some armor. Mobilize, just because it'll fit. Um, for movement, it adds uh, speed, essentially. 20 cent bullet jump between 20 cent aim glide and wall latch, so you can stick to walls longer and your bullet jump faster. Uh, we have Umbral Vitality for 500%. Uh, health, Umbral Intensify for 50% ability strength. Uh, Prime Continuity gives you plus 50% ability duration, 55 at max. And again, these go higher at max, but I don't have them at max. Hunter Adrenaline, so you get, um, when you take health damage, you'll gain energy. I have Prime Flow in here, so she has a buttload of energy to get back with Hunter Adrenaline. Uh, Streamline, just for a bit of efficiency. Uh, Narrow Minded for ability duration at the cost of range. And Stretch for just getting some of that ability range back. Again, in this build, it's better not to have the range. So I may, like, I, you can easily uh, swap that out for... Org uh, Message. So you can do that, which will get your range down even lower. And then even higher duration. So, again, this is essentially what I've got for this build here. So, if you want that build, that's the thing. Um, Where is... Stretch, there we go. Um, but this here is just the general build that I use most of the time. It's got fairly big range, just so I can use Wormhole when I need to. Uh, whoops. I also need to change... That back. Just a lower rank, narrow-minded, so that my uh, range is about 97. This is the general build that I use most of the time. Uh, this is my speed for build. So essentially, if you put yourself at negative strength... You can, you can speed up enemies rather than slow them down. They have negative 30% slow, i.e. they're 30% faster. Um, and this is for doing defense, essentially. Um, if you're on a defense target, you speed up all the enemies and they get to you quicker, so they die quicker, so the defense goes quicker. Um, that's all this is for. It's just doing sort of low-level defense and leveling stuff. It's a very 
nice way to have like a faster build so you can actually kill things faster. And this, I'll go over the build as well for this one. Uh, corrosive projection, again, toxic flight because I can fit it. So it makes you very, very fast and also it does toxin damage on your bullet jump, which is kind of whatever, who cares? It's mainly for the speed. Uh, we have regular vitality for 440% health, overextended for a bunch of range to get rid of the strength. That's mainly to get rid of the strength. The actual range is irrelevant. It's just getting rid of the strength that you want there. And this is the only mod that will take away strength. Uh, prime continuity for ability duration. Hunter Adrenaline gives you, again, same thing. And then down here is pretty much the same. We have prime flow constitution here for more ability duration. Also, fast knockback recovery is nice, I suppose, but here for the uh, duration. Now reminded, adds a bunch of duration, takes away some of that range, and then auger message for more duration still. So we're still on 301% duration here, which gives you a 95 radius, which is quite good. And then Slova, this is essentially the the build purely for her fall. And you can see here the range on her wormholes, only 17 meters, which is nothing. Um, but it can also keep her alive longer. And in this test, I think this is actually the preferred build because uh, this one here, having this range is actually bad because you will lose the um, damage reduction that you would get on another star ordinarily. So I will go with the slow build here just to show off this test. Um, looks correct, 145, let's simulate. Built like that, we now have damage reduction. I can slow all these enemies. Get rid of the healers. You can see these enemies are all slow now, so we can shoot them fairly easily at our leisure. Still need to be somewhat careful, you don't want to get shot too much. You can see I take out all these trash enemies, and these guys are going to be slowed for a very, very long time. Um, whoop. Healer's dead. Fairly simple to get headshots. Because they're so slow. Um, I'm going to slow them again, just to guarantee myself some... Uh, guarantee myself some slow here. They probably will stay slow for long enough for me to kill them, but... I, mean, I think they're all dead now. Ow, I got hit by a rocket. Oh, nope, still alive, still alive. Yeah, I think that's everybody. You can see there, one of my null stars disappeared only in the bottom right. You can see I have 12 times null stars rather than 13. But because my range is so low, they don't often fire off, which means I keep my damage reduction, which is quite good because you need it on this kind of level. So on this level, having low range is actually a good thing. But as I said, my more general build has a slightly higher range just so I can get wormhole to be pretty good. So I've shown off my 1 and my 4, I didn't really show off my 2 or my uh, 3 at all. What your 3 is, is teleport, jump through it, shoot you forward. As you see here, very short range, only 17 meters. The regular range is like 50 meters, so multiply that by like what? It, it's slightly over double, double and a half essentially, so you go bang, 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 and then if you build for range, you can have one that goes even further. And then her 2, you fire this ball, this ball will absorb all the shots that it takes, and as soon as it hits either an enemy or a wall, I can make it hit the floor, it does an explosion in a radius. And it will do all the damage that was done to it to everything else around it. So that's pretty much Nova in a nutshell. She's she's actually fairly simple. Like, reading through her abilities, she seems far more complex than she really is. Um, for the most part, high-level enemies, you want to just slow them down, Give yourself damage reduction and then just pick them off with a with a fairly good weapon. Tends to be the best way to do it. Again, if you've slowed them down and they're clumped up, you can do this just to get rid of them slightly faster. If you like, uh, if you team like your Null Star with like a Tiger S Prime or something, you can cut a hell of a lot of damage into it before it explodes, and it does a hell of a lot of damage in a big uh, area. Well, an average area, like 15 minutes or so. That's Nova in a nutshell. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. And as always, I shall see you next time, where we'll be taking on Nyx, I believe. Nova, Nyx. Yeah, it's a, yeah Nova, Nyx, then Oberon, I think. So Nyx will be next. But thank you for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye, guys.